Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about tiny CLR operating system from GHI. As you can see, tiny CLR is basically a fork of .NET Micro Framework 4.4. So this framework will enable you to develop an embedded system using C# -sharp and Visual Basic. And it support the latest C-sharp features, like as you can see in here. And then, if you have a .NET Gadgeteer board from GHI, like this one, Face Raptor, I will show you how to use a tiny CLR, the preview uh, version, to with your .NET gadget here board so you can open this address and download the G400 bootloader installer after that you can extract the file so we have a three file for flashing your board with the new uh, with the G400 bootloader uh, but in this, uh, in this example I will use uh, breadboard X1 modules and uh, jumper cable it, I'm connecting the pin 8 to the ground and this uh, 10 pin socket will be connected to socket 3 and then press uh, reset if you open your device manager it will be recognized as BOSA program port in COM4 and you can run the flash uh, application and type your COM port and then enter. It will take a couple of seconds and then press any key and disconnect your jumper cable and then press uh, press reset. Now, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Now we need to uh, reboot our main board in G GHI bootloader uh, mode by pressing LDR0 and 1, and then you can uh, press reset button. After that, you can release your LDR0 and 1. Mm. And now, it will uh, recognize as a GHI board loader interface in COM5. Okay, the next steps is to download the third preview of TinyCLR. It includes the G400 support. So you can download the tiny CLR from this link. After that, you can extract the file. And you have uh, two files. First is the bootloader and second is the firmware. So you need uh, application like uh, TerraTerm to flash your new bootloader and your firmware choose a serial and then you choose uh, GHI bootloader com ok and let's configure your serial port set up to 115200 here and then OK and then press X and enter 
and type p and enter and then we will transfer the wheel loader by using x modem uh, check the 1k and browse to your firmware folder okay this is my g400 wood loader and then okay open and wait for a couple seconds i'm sorry my english is not good because i'm indonesian Hopefully you can follow my instruction. So with this uh, tiny CLR, you can create your application with the latest version of Visual Studio which is Visual Studio 2017 and you can type X once again and enter uh, X and enter and then type PA to confirm and enter and now we will transfer our uh, firmware okay open this time it will, it will take uh, time or longer I'm sorry if my hand shaky because I use my smartphone camera to record this video. Okay, uh, while you while flashing the firmware, you can install the. the plugin for your Visual Studio because I already install uh, this plugin to my 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 Visual Studio so I cannot install once again and then after the flashing uh, process is complete you can close the Terra term and then you can press the reset in your main board. So, now your device will be recognized as G400. Uh, okay, let's create our first application by create new project and then choose a tiny CLR application and then OK sorry so John give a quick sample for blinking the LED with visual basic okay after you create uh, you create the project and then you can add some new good package here and open the setting and you can click the add button here and you 
can browse uh, the source of your new NuGet uh, package source to the tinyclr folder after you select and then OK and you can click browse here and then you can choose your tiny CLR package and you can choose install and then OK I accept this package will help you to build your application okay wow I got <laughs> okay and I will paste my code here and then I will change couple of code here okay and then add some reference so let's change this to the C sharp version of looping okay and then okay okay add some reference here You can use G400S Okay, if you don't have a pin mapping from Fast Raptor so I have ported the pin mapping so I can use it in my project Flash Raptor okay, copy. and then paste Type of fast raptor and then add some reverence. Okay, now you have a debug LED. Okay. Okay, let's start our application and you can see in debug output. Okay, assembly is deployed and then it will reboot. And you can see it's blinking. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, uh, I will show you the other sample. Um, so I have a community projects. These projects uh, aiming to port uh, the gadgeteers module drivers. 
to the tiny CLR version. So hopefully you want to help me to port all of the modules to the tiny CLR version. So I have a uh, port the button, light sense, gas sense, temp humid, SE70 uh, to the tiny CLR version. So uh, I can uh, still use the socket uh, constant in when when using the specific uh, component and if I press the button and then the, the LED will be will turn on and we will check the light sense value and the gas sense proportion value and the temperature and humidity and let's start so okay i think there is a bug in my code for getting the value from the temperature and humidity sensor but the light and gas is working working good okay let's try to press the button here and release press release press release okay cool so i will put this community project in this path in this address so you can join me to port the gadgeteer module driver to the tiny clr version okay it's all it's wrap thank you for watching see you in the next video thank you